guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, but most people know me as ZA Reptiles here and on Instagram. And today's gonna be another introduction video, um, because I did fall way behind in my introduction videos. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know all my animals. I have no secret animals if you follow me on Instagram. However, they have not all been announced here on YouTube, so that is our goal now. So today, we're going to be meeting my blue tongue skink. So I'll go pull him out real quick. All right, so this is Cusco, my blue tongue skink. He's a little huffy and puffy. We're working on our handling. Um, he does better if he gets to explore and get down. He doesn't really like being held for very long. Um, he gets a little huffy and puffy, but he's doing pretty good right now. So Cusco is two years old and he was a rehoming situation from Craigslist. And he actually came from the same family I got Muppet from, my Tegu. You guys have already met her, I got her for my birthday. So it was a family in town that recently moved here with all their reptiles and they need to downsize. So in the first group of animals they're getting rid of was Cusco. And uh, they told me Cusco was a two year old female Indonesian blue tongue skink. Then I got Cusco and I posted Cusco on, whoop. But then I got Cusco and I wanted to confirm that information so I posted Cusco in a couple blue tongue skink uh, groups on Facebook. And pretty much everyone agreed with me. Cusco looked to be more of a male than a female. Um, and a lot of people got mad at me when I first got Cusco, or didn't get mad at me, but were aggressive with me because I said that he was an Indonesian blue tongue skink and everyone was like, no, he's not. Now, I'm not very good at remembering the differences between the different skink species um, when it comes to blue tongue, so the different localities and whatnot. Um, so I looked into it further and I had a couple ideas but I wasn't 100% so I knew someone in a blue tongue skink group could tell me. And everyone in that group told me that he's a, I never know how to pronounce it, I think Morake. I watched a bunch of YouTube videos before filming this to see how people pronounce it. I thought it was Morak, but everyone was saying Morake. So I think that's it, but so it's a subspecies of an Indonesian. So technically I wasn't wrong saying that he's an Indonesian blue tongue skink. I just didn't specify that he's a Morake blue tongue skink. But he is two years old. Um, she did personally know the breeder. So she does know for a fact that he is two years old um, and where he came from. So he is a very big lizard. Um, he's doing great. I wanted a blue tongue skink, as you guys know. Um, I love doing reptile education programs. I plan to have a business in the future. So blue tongue skink was a must have on that list because they're just, they're such an interesting species. They're great species. Kids love them. And it's just super cool to kind of do the in-between between snakes and lizards. So they're just really cool to talk about. And they're nice medium sized lizards. They're not too big and not too small. So I'll show you guys the pictures that she sent me of Cusco before I picked him up. Um, so you guys can kind of see before and after. Um, he was being kept in a 40 gallon exoterra tank um, on reptile carpet. Uh, not a lot going on. Filled with poop, kind of gross. Um, so it could have been worse. Uh, this family did have a lot, a lot of species, a lot of kids. So they had a lot on their plate. Um, so yeah, but I bought him and his enclosure um, because I basically paid $100 for that enclosure and that's a really good price for a 40 gallon exoterra or a 40 gallon breeder exoterra which is what I want for zero my milk snake. So I figured I'm building a bunch of 4 by 2 by 2 so one of the new enclosures I'm building is for Cusco here. So you guys will see those soon, they're almost done. Um, but so I figured once he's got his new enclosure I can move zero into that 40 gallon and he'll have his new enclosure. So it really just, it worked out great. So there we go, he's got some dirt in his face. Cause he was burrowing, so he didn't have any substrate. Um, so he had nothing to bury in. So once I gave him substrate deep enough for him to bury in, he was so excited. He loves to just bury himself and stick his head out enough to just spy on you. But since giving him a ton of deep substrate to dirt bury in, tons of moss, he's become a lot happier, he's more social. Um, obviously he still doesn't tolerate handling for a very long time. I'm gonna go put him down to make him happy. Are you comfortable right there? 
okay, we're comfortable right here. So I guess we'll just hang right here. Um, anyway, since giving him a ton of moss and dirt to bury in, he's become a lot more tolerable of people. He comes out and just watches you, isn't always hiding. So he just seems like a lot happier now. Right, Cusco? So the reason his name is Cusco, if you guys have ever seen Emperor's New Groove, it means all, you know, no touchy, don't touch me. Um, every time you touch Cusco, he huffs. So I thought it was kind of very fitting. So now I have a Cusco, I have a Kronk, I just need an Yzma. Samoa was going to be an Yzma, but I just really want a name or something to do with cookies. So you guys have seen Cusco once before on this channel when I did my quarantine morning routine. So I showed you guys how I do a morning routine when I have animals in quarantine. So you did meet him then, but so this is his official introduction video. You say goodbye Cusco? You say goodbye? Well, thank you guys for watching another video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see all the new enclosures I'm building because one is for him. It's going to be bioactive. I'm finishing the background right now and then I just have to order glass for the door. So they're almost, almost done. They'll be moved up here. They're all going to go over there in that area. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you for the next video.